Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 28 of the Super Mario RPG. Last time we had a bit of a sloppy episode because I was so tired while recording it, but eh, no one seemed to complain about it, except for me, of course. But that's not out of the norm. Okay, and we also made it to the sea last time. The jolly old sea, which is more like a cave than a sea, but oh well. And we also made it, uh, we're gonna avoid that thing. You can just die alone in that cave for all I care. Even though it sounds really morbid. It's the truth. Okay, nothing over here, I don't think. Oh, uh, no. Alright, so now we're actually at something that kind of resembles a sea. Look at this. Hmm. Because the other part just kind of resembled like an underground cavern or something. But this is, this looks more like a sea. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and sink here. Um, Fight some bloobers, why not? And, oh, here's a new enemy. It's a, it looks like a purple cheap cheap, but it's actually called a goby, I think. Mr. Kipper? What? Oh, yeah, gobies. We met those earlier, didn't we? In, like, cure sewers. Well, whatever. These guys can't be too much tougher now, right? Cool stuff. And Peach, or Toadstool, pardon. I'm just gonna be calling her interchangeably Toadstool and Peach, because, whoa. Um... Ow, thanks for that bloober. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Oh, that's not enough to kill you? How much HP do you have? Over 9,000? Okay, uh, double my XP point. Sure, why not? Where's Yoshi? Yes! Ah, uh, I love that noise that Yoshi makes. He just makes it, he's just so happy when he says that. Okay, uh, so level 12, so... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry I have to do that every time someone levels up, but that's how I know it better. Okay, um, so, whoa, I didn't mean to wander into a current there, whatever happened. Uh, I'll fight this other blue bra. I, why not? Okay, cutting back in now because... I actually killed the bloober and I got a lucky flower for it. I think they always drop that because they're just so dang hard to kill. But, double my coins maybe? No. Why is it like never the one in the middle? And I always pick that one too for some reason. Oh well. Whoa, what the? Uh, didn't mean for that to happen either. Okay, um. I know that in that cave back there I saw some uh, other chests in an area I couldn't access. But, oh, why am I up here now? I thought I'd sunk in this. Thank you. I can't figure out how to access this. I'll figure that out later. Okay, so we can jump if we... Thank you. Jump here, and this is actually a pipe, or acts as a pipe. Oh, hello. Um, nice little sunken ship area here. There's a page from the travel log. Uh, sure. Why not? We're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. The ship's going down fast. Oh, that doesn't sound too safe. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. There's a page from the travel log. Yeah. These are just scattered throughout the ship. The door to the cell is locked with a password consisting of six letters. In order to proceed, you'll have to decipher the password using the six hints. Yeah, this is one of my favorite puzzles of the game, by the way. Just because of the all, all the neat little things you get to do. Yeah, there's even one in the save room here. Look at that. We've managed to trap the giant squid in in the treasure cellar. The treasure will sink, in, will, will sink with the ship, but so it goes. Oh, that sucks. All that hard work plundering goes to nothing. All your pirate robbery. All for not. So sad. Sorry if there's an abrupt cut there, guys. I just got randomly called. Oh, well. Nothing too major. Okay, uh, these guys are a new enemy. They look like giant, or not giant, but dead shy guys or something. But they're really just greepers. You know, like grim reaper. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, if you can pick up some, like, whatever it's called, uh... Water, that water stuff. What it was it called? I don't know, but it's the stuff that uh, you can use on the undead creatures to make them die instantly. I think you can pick some of that stuff up from the monsters around here, and that'll really help you in this area because most of the monsters are undead, if not all. Okay, deathsicle. Ugh. Ow. Gosh. That's not nearly as nice as a popsicle. Why couldn't you give me one of those instead? Alright, whatever. Yeah, these guys don't give too good experiences. You can just five a pop. Sickle. No. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. And they disappear too, which is annoying. Ask yeah, screw him. He's not coming back. Well, he is, but. All right, and these guys, you might know these, recognize these guys from previous games. These are dry bones. Yep, they didn't butcher the name this time. Bloober. Okay, um, but the there's a funny thing that works about that with dry bones, is that you can only kill them by either using the holy water type stuff that I talked about just a second ago, or through magic attacks. If you use normal attacks on them, you can like stun them or something. Or basically, it's just like every other game. There's just always a special way to kill dry bones. All right, and yeah, here we go. Pow! And 194, and enough to kill. Alright. Uh, I think a normal jump can just take other dry bones. I'm pretty sure they're weak to that, too. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, 10 coins. That's not bad. Oh, look at that. Mallory's reached level 12. Okay, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Neat. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. And when you kill a dry bones in the field like that, it doesn't really, um, die per se it just kind of faints for a little bit collapses i guess uncover the secret six hints of course since they're provided by different people they'll be pretty tough to solve maybe impossible nothing is impossible or expect the impossible yeah all right so there's a well i didn't need to go back into the room but there's a bunch of enemies in that room and we don't really oh there's a flower i actually never knew that that's kind of cool i just saw that hole randomly just now and figured hey why not check Oh, well. All right. Oh, two new enemies here. One new form of the rat funk called the alley rat, and one new form of the enigma called the gorgon. No relation to goron? Sure about that? All right. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we're just kind of... Later in the game, this game actually gets kind of lazy, as you can see, and it just starts reusing enemies, except naming them different and coloring them different. It's really kind of annoying, but oh well. Willy Wisp, no, don't burn. Or do that, suck up her soul, whatever you just did. You just don't do that. That's not nice. Okay, and can you just please die? Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna. I need to look up the weakness of the Gorgon. Actually, you know what? I, whoa. Yeah, these guys are just kind of parading up and down the stairs. They're like, look at us. We can climb upstairs and then slide back down. We. And we, but whatever. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and look up the Gorgon's weakness since they keep, seem to be quite resilient to physical attacks. Just a moment. All right, guys, I did the check, and uh, they were apparently weak to thunder or lightning or whatever. So if you have Mal in your party, that's pretty good. And what do each of these guys have a Gorgon accompanying them? Well, that'll be annoying then. Oh, I need to heal Peach. Whatever, I'll have her therapize herself. Is that a, therapy's not a verb? What am I doing? Okay. There we go, and hugs. Question mark. Diamond saw. No. Does he just use like a random attack whenever that happens? Because it's just like question mark. Random attack. Go. Oh, oh I still need to show up Gino Whirl. Oh yeah. That's an awesome attack too because well you'll see when I use it, of course. If I can get the action command right. Alright, yeah. Oh look at that. We're just getting levels up. Up the wazoo here. It's sleepy time. I'm pretty sure that puts enemies to sleep. Call me crazy. Um. Oh, what do you start at? I think this is like your second level up or something. Who knows? We'll just go with it. That, that, that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna fight one more of these guys just to see if I can show off Geno World here. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, might as well just start with Geno World. Okay. When you do this, uh, Geno will fire out like a disc type thing. You want to press the Y button as soon as the disc goes over the enemy. Um, I believe Chug Conroy said that it's when, the when it goes off screen, but actually no. According to my fact thing that I'm that I have here, it's when the when it's on top of the enemy. So I'm just gonna, if, and if that doesn't work, I'll try when it goes off the screen. Okay, here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Damn it. Okay, I don't know if I pressed it the right time though. Okay, yeah. Alley rat, just go away. And, uh, Toadstool, go ahead and use therapy on Gina. He could use it. Oh, he missed the action command. Guard darn it. Guard darn it. What the hell? Okay, yeah. Diamond saw Mario to the face and nearly. Oh my gosh. Dude. 
two hit points left. Wow. Okay. I'm going for Gina Whirl again. I don't care if he uses 8 FP. Oh, come I got it that time. It must be when it goes off screen then. Alright. Sorry. I gave you bad information, I guess. Either, either that or I'm just not getting the timing right. Timing. Timing. Okay, um. Mario, you need some healing. I just remembered. Okay, uh. Special. Oh, look, Mario's almost at 100 HP, too. Total. Or, like, maximum. That's kind of cool. Alright, and just keep on moving here. Keep on trucking, you know. Oh, look, a uh, coin block. Yeah, that's so useful. Oh my gosh, look at all those coins. Did I say, oh my gosh, or oh my gosh? My guten tag. Okay, uh, there's some monsters blocking these doors here. What could all this be about? Hmm. Well, no sense dilly-dallying around. Let's just get into it. You don't even have to fight the monsters. Okay, so in this room, this looks kind of odd, doesn't it? Well, as you can see, this paratroopa is, or paracoopa troop, whatever it's called in this game, I don't know. It's like following you. And by the way, these doors lead to like the trials that they were talking about to get hints to the password. Right, so this guy's following you and there's a cannonball up there at his height and a switch over there. So what you want to do is get him like right around here and do that. There you go. You get a full heal mushroom and me memo left by Magellan. Mag I guess it's a take on Magellan, whatever. There is an S in the word. Well, that's useful. That's one of six letters. Oh, God. Okay, nothing special about that battle. Just a single Greeper by himself. Uh, oh, here's some new enemies. Uh, one of them is actually new, and one of them is a take on the Hobgoblin, or a remake of it. It's called the Straw Head. You know, maybe he needs to go see the Wizard of Oz, get a brain. And here's a Reacher. Not too different from Greeper, but yeah. Alright, um, I think these guys are actually weak to jump. I'm going to test that out myself, see if I got that right. For now, I'll just have Gino take on this guy. I'm pretty sure he's... Yeah, he's pretty resilient. Okay, the lightning orb. Yeah, you do your little thing. Black mage, whatever. Okay, and I'm gonna try the... Uh, super jump. On the reacher! It looks like I'm jumping on the greeper there, actually. I don't think I am, though. No. 252, okay. Well, even if he's not weak to that, that's still really effective. Oh, why didn't I use the Lucky Jewel there? Oh, well. Ow, ow, 27. Yeah, you can see these guys are starting to do a lot more damage now. Now that we're later in the game. Oh, Lucky Flower. Looks like I didn't even need to use Lucky Jewel. Okay, uh, what time am I at? I haven't been checking that. 13 minutes. Okay. So, uh... Ooh, 20 XP, 20 coins. Double XP? Sure. We'll end off this episode on a high note if we can hit the Yoshi. Or on a low note. It all depends on this egg. Yes! Okay, high note for the win. Alright, 40 experience. Not another level up, though. That would be crazy to have that many level ups in this one video. But, anyways, I think it's about time for me to end it off here. Otherwise, we're just gonna leap over the time limit like it's just a hurdle. That did, That was a terrible metaphor or simile. Whatever. But thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.